Hi guys, Penny Rose Journals, how you doing? Um, today I'm working with something a bit different. Um, maybe something you might have or have seen around and didn't know what to do with. Um, these are the covers of um, large maps, um, the big paper ones that you sort of fold out. Um, I'm not sure how many people have got things like that. There's one there. Um, what I've done is they're actually stuck to those tabs. I've um, pulled them all out and I will use the maps as drop sheets and then eventually they will go into journals. But this is what I'm left with when I take the map out. Um, there used to be a lot of these around. I don't know how many people have them now. Um, but you might find them at thrift shops and whatnot. So anyway, I have a bunch. So I decided I would do something with them. And um, yeah, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do. But I thought, first off, I'll just make a little booklet. Um, yeah, something with a couple of um, tucks in each side and a little notepad in the middle. So that's where I'm going with this and um, yeah if I come up with any other ideas I'll do another video but <laughs> for now this was something that um, can easily be done with um, an old map cover so so all I've done is folded in the ends um, those tabs at the bottom where I have um, taken the the map out I will cut those at a slight angle and cut the um, outer portions off. Um, also at a slight angle, um, just angling up towards the outside, just so that when you fold it over like so and fold the bottom up, it um, it all fits nicely. There's no sort of bubbling and warping there. So I'll do that to both sides and um, then I will cut those middle portions of the flaps off and um, we'll go from there. Okay, now it's all trimmed up to um, the shape I want it. I'm going to just glue down some um, printed book page. Uh, you can cover it with whatever you like. You can not cover it at all if you like the um, old mappy sort of outside look. Um, I felt like covering them today and I just have a bunch of these printed on book pages laying about. So that's what I'm going to use. Um, I'm just using glue stick here, um, I think it will be secure enough but um, yeah, you could use a stronger glue, um, you could sew around these too if you wished but um, at this point I haven't so I'm just um, using the trusty old glue stick and plenty of it. <laughs> Once they're all glued down I will trim around them and um, we'll go from there.
now it's completely covered, um, we will get to construction stage. <laughs> so difficult. Yeah, just fold the side in and um, fold the flap up and glue it. There you go. Ta-da! <laughs> I love easy, easy, easy projects. <laughs> So yeah, there we go. I'm just going to glue this tab with some quite strong glue, pop it up there and um, I'll clip it for the moment while I do the other side. And then, um, yeah, your basic construction is done. All you have to do now is put a little booklet in it, um, which I will do very shortly. This just gives you a tuck on either side of the booklet and yeah, simple little book construction completed. Um, what I'll do is now take the um, clips off of this and pop it under my mat um, and pull out the one I prepared earlier. <laughs> I used to love cooking shows. <laughs> Here's one I prepared earlier. <laughs> Um, yeah, anyway, it's all stuck and good to go. So I am just going to select some pages and yeah, we will sew in a quick signature and just uh, three whole pamphlet stitch and we're done. So yeah, simple, simple project. Um, I'll let you watch the uh, whole page selection and um, sewing in process and um, yeah. I'll come back when we're done.
Okay, well that's the page selection done. Um, at this point I just spied a little um, and tapestry needle um, that had a little bit of embroidery thread in it still so uh, I decided I would sew it in straight away. I wasn't sure it was going to be enough but as it turned out it was about the perfect amount of um, embroidery floss. Oh, you will excuse the cameos from my head and my nose. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not a professional and it shows so <laughs> anyway um, yeah just a super quick pamphlet three uh, three whole pamphlet stitch and we have our little pages secured which is um, yeah basically the end of it um, I was also lucky enough to spy a little piece of ribbon um, that wasn't too far away from me and I uh, thought that would make a perfect little closure so yeah we've basically um, managed to construct the entire thing uh, with bits and pieces that were lying around <laughs> so yeah I hope this was interesting to some of you I mean you could do exactly the same thing out of a piece of card um, I just happen to have a lot of these map covers um, because I was gifted a big pile of um, these big ordnance maps so yeah anyway there we have it one of those from one of those <laughs> thanks for coming along guys um yeah as always it's lovely crafting with you and i'll see you again next time bye